What's going on everybody? Um, real simple video today. Uh, if I look red and sweaty, it's because I just got off the treadmill. Um, touring for the first time in three weeks said I want to take a nap. So I'm taking advantage of the time given to me. Uh, workouts are a priority. So I enjoyed an hour of uninterrupted treadmill. Um, I digress though. So um, today's video is just going to be real simple, kind of like a how I got the shot type video. Um, no fancy edits, no, nothing. It's probably just going to be a one take, listen to me stammer on about a picture. Um, I'm going to pretty much point the camera at this screen here to some uh, final edits of a shoot I did a month or two back. I'll tell you what I was thinking when I did it, how it was lit, how I did my composition and all that. So without further ado, we're just gonna get right into it and I'm just gonna start talking. Okay, real quick uh, before we get started, um, this isn't gonna be a how to edit video. This is going to be a what's going on in my head when I'm taking the pictures kind of video. I'm gonna just go through and explain um, my process where I put lights, etc. So that being said, let's just get into it. We're testing the screen recording of this new computer here. Um, I'm just pulling up these photos in the stock photo app because they're coming from a hard drive because I dumped everything off the old computer and I'm starting fresh on this new computer with you know my Lightroom files. So, um, this is Taylor. Taylor is an aspiring um, model who's working her tail off to get, you know, build up her portfolio and get pictures taken. Um, her work ethic, you know, proves anything. She'll probably succeed in whatever she wants. So anyway, this location was uh, on the Morgantown waterfront. Um, there's a nice little it's an old rail trail they've converted and it's pretty heavily um, used by walkers and joggers and stuff and there's really good photo locations and there's also really good evening light as you can see this picture was you know all natural light the sun there was some cloud cover but it wasn't so thick that everything was gray and dingy it actually was bright so it was really nice um i picked these locations because this was our first shoot together and you know i wanted it to be like a public area so um what i typically do um, when i'm working with someone is i'll give them an idea of what's in my head and then i'll try to like if i have a specific pose in my head i'll show you know the best that i can and then i let them um work from there and inevitably they'll move or do something that I'll see and I'll key on and then I'll start doing little micro adjustments like you know move this elbow down chin up all that stuff to what looks good so we ended up with a shot like this um you can see natural light it's pretty flat pretty even um but it turned out real good now I didn't crop out this green because I really uh liked the green I thought the contrast of the green and the brick and the blue um was pretty cool um that's just me you know you can if you wanted to crop it down you could crop it down um this picture here i'm not generally uh you know you need to smile for me but you know if i can um get a natural laugh or natural smile i'll try to snap it and that because natural smiles are the best best thing so but this girl just started uh you know work and i said here's kind of what i'm thinking and she went in and she started going boom boom this is one of our first shots we took and it's supposed to be a warm-up set but ended up being really good so we had some shots here here i moved that crawl you can see i cropped in a little bit um on that so these are the best from that set um if you zoom in if you're trying to decipher lighting of a picture uh, zoom into the eyes you can always see where the lights coming from because it usually reflects you can even see right here you know there was the ridge line and the sun and the clouds going behind it so you know that's where the light was coming from you know from the left side of the frame here uh, going in um, then we moved her right off of where she's standing right over here are these stairs 
this is kind of senior picture-ish because that's kind of what I'm trying to divulge some of my business in is to, you know, attract senior pictures and college kids that want, you know, want to be models do this. So, um, I really liked this shot. Um, and this came as a result of, you know, I'm, I said, Hey, let's sit on the stairs kind of like this. And then I had her pull her hair over and then it's just, you know, she kind of, as she did that, you know, I'm like, all right, let's do this. And, um, we ended up with uh, this is really nice shot I think this could like advertise something I, I don't know what but it, I'd put it in the magazine but anyway um, what I typically do is you know I'll say here's you know what I'm thinking and then I'll take a set of pictures and then I'll go up and we'll look at them either if I'm tethered in the studio or if I'm uh, you know on location it's just the back of the camera and we'll do um, tweaks we'll say okay we like this look how it looks in the camera let's tweak this or let's scrap it or you know I like this let's work with this a little bit more so um, we worked here for I don't know 20 30 minutes got you know these are the keeper images that I got from from there and then we moved up to a parking garage um, here it was starting to get dark now this i'm facing east sunset is back she's still facing the sun right now um it was starting to get dark so here i used strobes um i started with just the one strobe and these were um these where she where i was facing east are just kind of okay to me they're just general you know they're nothing there's another nice smile this one was a a decent one but there's nothing um you know to me they're good but they weren't stunning so then we flipped sides and uh then she started um she started this into this all herself so how do i get there we go okay and uh what i did here was um I exposed because you had the sunset here you had street lights we're on the, this is a five-story parking garage so we're pretty high off the ground uh, here you can see buildings in the background so what I did I think I was still at ISO 1 or 200 I tried to keep it low and I just lowered my shutter speed to expose for what I wanted here I wanted the sunset to be there but not take the attention from her I'm only lighting her with one strobe right now and it's um, if you zoom in you can see exactly where it was a um, little bit high and probably um, you know 45 degrees to the front or to her shoulder here where I was standing um, you can see how the lights falling off here um, it wasn't too high over her it's kind of direct because I like that shadow in the jawline there and then you know she hit some of these poses and when she started working like this is when I you know keyed up I'm like these are really good shots so we did several sets where she just you know posed and I, I did micro adjustments like here put your hand right here and this and that and I you know I zoomed in zoomed out because I had that 24 to 105 and so I you know myself I moved um back and forth and then i also zoomed in and zoomed out to get because like here i was on the long end of the spectrum at least 85 or probably 105 because i wanted these buildings are pretty far away and i wanted to, that compression to to pull them in so uh, the, these probably here were probably some of my favorite shots of the evening um like that and then one thing you can tell the difference here is i had the just one strobe hitting her uh from this side but she was when she started giving me these poses i just was working and i realized it's dark back here so i got a second strobe for these other shots and you can see now the difference on back here where the back of her hair is lit and it just kind of separates a little bit um more you can see where she's dark and her hair kind of falls into the shadows um, and with the uh, 
you know, second strobe, which was over here against this wall, just in a uh, reflector, just a standard seven inch reflector, um, hitting light. And I aimed it, you know, at her back so you can see it kind of separates her more from the background. So those are the pictures we got. So then we moved to location three and she's just leaning up against a building with a uh, metal wall and what i did here just to add a little bit of edge uh, and moodiness to it is you know i put you can almost see direct the hot spot here just off camera um, as a red gel over in this area uh, with the reflector just casting hard red light here and then our uh, softbox is she's facing her body is facing the uh, softbox and then i'm off to her right shooting so you can see again um, placement of the octobox right there and how it's shining you can also see you know how it's shining on her face casting the shadow there it's still a little bit high but not too high and it's not you don't want to unless you're going for a certain look you don't want to shine it from up below because then you start looking like you know, the horror movies kind of things um, so we played around with with some of these pictures um, and uh, this I started moving you know and I, I move around a little bit so I moved closer to the wall and had her um, look follow I had her follow me with the camera but keep her back you know against the wall and I wanted to get you know some of these city lights in uh, in the shot so here is one where I was directly I think I was either underneath the octo I think I was probably underneath you can probably see right there and you can see the red gel hitting her there which was off this way so um, that was that set then we moved about six feet off that building because it's a walking path here and I changed up positions the uh, octobox is over here 45 degrees um, to her position here and then took the gel off and it's just the light and the reflector directly behind her and that's given uh, this nice backlight glow to her hair which I thought was was pretty cool and then I put her in the middle so we could get some symmetry with uh, those street lights so and then again you know we worked with you know some poses and you know she would hit a pose and I would just do little micro tweaks and we went from there so you can see how the octobox is a little off-centered um, there one thing that I will that is a um, noticeable to me at night shooting with strobes even if i had the modeling light on you can see her eyes the pupils dilate a little bit because it's darker one thing that's nicer about the natural light especially if you got someone like blue eyes the natural light it was a lot brighter see how much smaller her pupils are and how much more blue you have so it's just something to keep in mind um, when you're taking pictures because you can see the natural light how much brighter it was in her eyes naturally uh, pupils constricted as opposed to this one where um, you know they're a little bit wider still because of the modeling light um, shining on her it's still contracted her pupils a little bit so you still get some blue but it's just something to be aware of it's not anything wrong with the picture or like that but um that was that shoot um that's kind of you know me explaining what i was thinking uh, when i was working here it was our first time working together um i have another one i'm going to do here of the second shoot we did so she obviously you know didn't think these pictures sucked so um because she came back for a you know a second shoot so that was my um thoughts on how I was working on this shoot just wanted it to be simple and easy um, you know, she brought a couple outfit changes to to work with and we ended up with some good shots so um, you know I'll roll 
slideshow at the end here at of you know all the the best ones from from these keepers and uh, let me know what your favorite was did you like you know these natural light ones did you like the ones with the city in the background or the red ones you know or the ones with the, the street lights in the back and you know these are how i did these shots if you would have done something different you know let me know down in the comments as well you know comments help the channel and i'd like to know you guys feedback you know what was your favorite did you like the way the pictures turned out would you have done something different is there something i could have did to make the shoot you know a little bit better so let me know feedback's appreciated and with that i'll uh, roll some of the uh, best uh, pictures and i'll see you in the next video don't get to call me up Tell me that you need forgiveness You're the one who called